What's up, everybody, and welcome back to Cloa 2, Lunity is Veil. I, of course, am What the Fnew, and in the last episode, we hit the Northern Harmony Bell and grabbed our first element. In this episode, we're going to pay another visit to Baguji and then visit one of the best worlds in the entire game. Yes, the best out of the best out of one of the best games I've ever played. Yep, you are truly in for a treat this time around. Of course, first we gotta deal with the characters contemplating the state of affairs. Looks like we've got some competition. That ain't what they are, you dope. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, I need to do his voice in the scout voice. Still, the Dream Traveler's ring is a sacred item. They say it will not work without a priestess. Hmm. Well, I guess we're kinda safe in that regard. Stealing the ring ain't enough by itself. Hmm. Fair enough. Ow, bumped my mic right there. <laughs> well, it seems everything is working out just fine at the moment. Maybe we have some information that she doesn't. In any case, you must seek all of the bells. To the next bell, then. Of course, we can kind of hear it going off in the background there. Or maybe that's just the sound of the theme park in general. The opening of what? Jolianto. The entire kingdom is like a giant amusement park. And you know how games work. Amusement park levels are always the best. Remember Sonic? Everybody loved the casino level. On to Jolianto's bell. <laughs> Even the characters are excited to get this one started. So, how about... How, uh, uh, Enunciation is important. Did I mention that? <laughs> it pays to think about what you're going to say before you say it. Let's hop on into the plaza here. Yeah, I'm sorry if that's a little jarring for you guys. Thought I'd cut out the loading screens from now on just to kind of make things run a little more smoothly. Eliminate just a couple extra seconds of downtime. This place is nice and colorful, bright, lights everywhere, tents and parks and the giant map in the front. <laughs> Even Klonoa's impressed. Excuse me, pardon me. Watch it, will ya? What's oh no? What? Did you drop it somewhere? Tat! It... Oh, well, that's just not nice at all. You can't use double team on us right in the middle of a cutscene. Come and get it if you can. <laughs> oh, jeez. She got him so angry, his claws are growing in natural defense. That is legit anger right there, ladies and gentlemen. She is pushing him to the absolute limit. Uh, but which one? I don't care! Just start chasing one! Now, I have to warn you guys straight off. This game is going to make you play both stages either way. There is no right answer here. Whichever one you chase after first, the other one will actually have the element. So, after those two cutscenes that we started with this off with, unfortunately, we will not be able to visit both in this episode. However, the one stage we do get into is a doozy. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Joyland Fun Park, and it is my favorite stage in any game. I, I'm sorry. I just, I just had to take that in for a second. It, it just, it hit me like a wave. Like all of the good memories that I've had with this game and the things within it. I just, oh God, I'm having a moment over here, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> I, I'm just so happy I have this game again after all this time. 
I I remember all of this. I remember the little mini game of there at the start. I remember where all the pieces are and like where the gems are in relation to the mirror fairy. I remember oh, all of the good things in this stage. I know I said this is my favorite level in all of gaming, but you're about to see why. Up here, up here, you silly. Oh, Klonoa, darling. Tad? <laughs> It sounds legitimately angry. I would be too after the stunt she pulled. God. <laughs> She's flirting with him despite it all. You know, Tat could po very possibly rank up there as one of the most annoying characters in all of gaming. And yet for some reason, I can't help but like her. <laughs> She's... She's lovably agitating, you know what I mean? She's lovably annoying. Maybe it's the fact that she has a crush on Klonoa, the character you're playing as, or maybe it's that she's not all that threatening, doesn't in inconvenience you too much. The fact that I have such good memories tied to the stages I encounter her in, I don't know. For one reason or another, I just can't bring myself to hate her. Not to mention she's actually giving you a tutorial about how this guy works. Now, I just to say right now though, you don't get a tutorial for any other enemy in the game that has a special jump function. Hmm, why did I? Oh, let's just say maybe because I like you just a little bit? What's that supposed to mean? <laughs> God, even furries aren't into this character. Sorry, sorry, I had to make at least one joke about it. It's unavoidable. There we go, grab our second star right there. Oh, so many branching paths, so many ways to go. Here's the cool thing about this particular, oh, come on, don't be like that. You ruined my fun. And you see here, I'm just getting paranoid about picking up enemies here and there. I didn't even remember if I needed him for this little part. That'll make it for the heart I lost right there. And look at this little side area right here. It serves little to no purpose other than to let you pick up a couple extra gems, but you can even interact with the background here. Watch this. <laughs> Sticks the landing. It congratulates the crowd. <laughs> thank you. Thank you all for watching. <laughs> it's the little details. I keep saying it, but it's true. The more you flesh out the world, the more engaging it is to be in it. Yes, it takes time, yes, it takes effort, but the end result is so incredibly worth it. It makes it so satisfying to be in this place, to be with these characters. Oh, you, you, come, come on. Yeah, there we go. Push it up a little bit. Push it up a little bit more. Push it up a little bit more. Or myself up a little more. <laughs> Rather not waste your guys' time. Fireworks in the background. It's all bright. It's colorful. I just love it. Love every single thing. A jump up here with the Moo, one that you brought in, or the one down there. Jump up again. And even the crowd is amazed by your performance. My turn to take a bow. Thank you all. I'll be here all week. Or the span of the next video, whatever comes first. <laughs> I hope the span of a video comes first. We just had a conversation about this in the last one. Now this is another special enemy. Watch what happens when you pick this guy up. Wait, what? Oh, jeez! To the moon, Alice! To the moon! Although I'm surprised that firework didn't damage us right there. It's only made of exploding fire. Or anything. That takes a little bit of skill right there. It takes a long time to figure out exactly how the Keaton works, but once you get down the rhythm on how to make him fly exactly the way you need him to, it's all gravy. It's not that it controls bad, it just takes a long time to get used to- YOU JERK! YOU JERK! <laughs> okay, maybe I like Cat a little less than I thought. Let's just put that out there. Aren't any secrets up there, by the way. Believe me, I've checked. I've played this stage so many goddamn times, I know it inside out and backwards. And if you're getting tired of all this bright and colorful colorfulness... Yeah, that's a great way of explaining it. Why don't you hop in here? And we enter the second half of the stage. The haunted house. Cause you know, every good theme park. Who's there? 
Welcome to the terrifying ghost palace. Oh, jeez. That's one way to get a jump scare out of you. Klonoa seems unfazed, though. Oh. <laughs> Lolo, are you afraid of ghosts? <laughs> I love her. She's adorable. I know I've said it a million times, but she is. <laughs> I'm not afraid of ghosts. I <laughs> Obligatory Ghostbusters reference, I guess. <laughs> What am I gonna do? Just seriously, what am I gonna do? All the whole game is gonna be like is this. It's just me experiencing it after all these years. Maybe doing a first playthrough would have been better. I would have been able to provide more commentary. Other than just, you know, geekgasming about every single little thing that happens. About how cute Klonoa or <laughs> Klonoa. I guess Klonoa is cute too. Not quite as much as his partner though. And no, I'm not talking about Popka. No, get up there. Grab, grab it. Ah! Ah! That's always the worst. When your flight runs out just before you need it to. That is the pits, man. Or, well, yeah, I guess it can be the pits. Literally, in some cases. <laughs> I like these little switch puzzles, too. Oh, crap. Oh, that is how you're supposed to do it. Never mind. <laughs> I'd second-guessed myself for a second. I shouldn't, really, though. This is why I chose this game. I've played it so many times, my fingers just can play the game for me. They know what to do, even if I don't. It's all about trust, man. Never give up. Trust your instincts. And yes, remember to attack the big guys here. They do drop, what is it, nine gems? Every break? Yeah, one blue one and four green ones, so... Yeah, there you- oops. No, 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 don't! Don't do that. We're not gonna die, not here. Not now. We got pl- pl What am I even trying to say anymore? By the way, I've seen so many people forget to do this. The reason I bring that up is because of this guy big right here. You get so distracted by the puzzle, you completely forget to break that guy open for the gems in his body. And that's what's gonna cost you getting all of them on the stage. You'd be surprised. I've seen it happen. I've seen it a lot. That's another thing I just kind of remembered consciously because it happened so many times to me. Let's break that bubble first and foremost before going out through the rest of the stage. <laughs> Fun little set piece right there. Make sure you don't fly too low, though. You don't want to be nipped right out of the sky. You fearless and foolish souls. And look, even the coffin has the religious symbol on it. Remember what I said about a consistent world? You know, well, of course you do. I've only said it like 10 times now. Ah, oh, jeez, she's afraid of everything. Wait, something's wrong here. Something wrong about the enemy in general, you mean? <laughs> or the guy who's actually working that cauldron. I wouldn't assume that everything's totally right with that guy, either. I'm not gonna lie, though. This is probably the easiest boss in the whole game. Like, you'll notice right here, I'm not even having any kind of trouble. And if you're quick enough, you can actually beat this boss before he even gets a chance to attack. Or she, as you find out right here. After her! Puts, punches us back right here because Cat conveniently blows a hole open the wall. Didn't even have to touch it, either. Who knew she had the power of telekinesis? <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. I'm overanalyzing again. I gotta stop doing that. As long as it benefits the player, it doesn't hurt. You know, when I was a kid, I tried so many times to try and get that rocket over here. I was convinced there was something up above this chimney. I don't know why I j decided to point that out. It was just something that bugged me personally. I don't know. Like I said, there's so many... I guess it's also a gameplay subject. 
Yeah, because when I was a kid, the fact that this world had so many little things hidden inside it made me want to explore it more. It's the simple idea that there's so much to see that I want to see it all. I don't know if that makes any sense to, pe to everybody out there. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Don't stop. We're so close. No! I think I screwed that up. I didn't hear the right sound effect. Damn! Damn, 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 damn! All right, let's just kill ourselves. I need to pull that off properly. You don't understand. I would rather get everything done on the first try in this playthrough. I really would. Or does that overwrite my total gems for the stage? I don't even remember now. I have to get everything done exactly when it happens. Oh, no. There's a specific timing to this. I have to wait for a certain moment. I... Okay, let's wait till these guys pass over us, okay? I think that's the correct timing. Alright, hopefully. There it goes! Okay. I'm gonna have to check that on the status screen as we go through this time, but... I think that's how you're supposed to do it. I think we've gotten everything. I hope we've gotten everything. I really don't want to have to go back to some of these stages, especially considering this one's so gigantic in the first place. It's a shame, then, that we're almost at the end right now. Pesky, aren't you? Oh, well. I know I'm just so irresistible. Let's just see whether you can catch me, though. This is an interesting little sequence here. Your only real danger is falling in the pits here. You have to ca chase after Tad as fast as you can, though. The thing is, these platforms go up and down faster than you can move over them. So you have to be really quick like that in order to get over them. In time, chase her down immediately. You're not getting away this time! You'd better give us back the element! <laughs> <laughs> it's just, I don't know why I think that's so funny. <laughs> Too bad. You chose the wrong one. I don't have the element. See ya. <laughs> okay, seriously, Popka, calm the fuck down. If your blood pressure gets any higher, your head's gonna explode. Seriously, dude. I think we'll find the other one at the jungle slider. Indeed we will, Cloa. But until then, it's the vision clear, and I believe that's the end of this episode, too. Uh, yeah, I guess I'll save my adventure, but not in that file. I'm actually going to save it in Data 2 this time, and there's a reason for that. But until that reason becomes relevant, we're just going to hop back into the map. Celebrate the completion of that stage, and I gotta check this. I have to check my status. Yeah, we did it! 150 gems in Joyland Fun Park! And we got the memory doll inside of it as well. So, everybody, on that triumphant note, I bid all of you adieu. Until next time, I'm What the Fnew. Later, everybody!